This is Chris, the Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today, we've got a really cool project back here. We've got a iron door and it's black and we're gonna make it metallic gold and it's gonna look really dang cool. And I got Journeyman John with me once again today um, and he's heading up this project. So this is really fun, cool stuff. We love doing this kind of stuff because it's a huge transformation. It's gonna make this entry way look awesome. And we got a product we're using today. It's called Modern Masters. Comes from Sun Valley, Idaho. Not too far from California. us. California. Is it California? Did Sun, I read that wrong? Sun Valley, California. There you go. And um, I was wrong. And we won't edit that out, but here we go. Um, <laughs> it's, you apply it 58 degrees or above and it dries and recoats and 30 minutes so we're going to be applying two coats of this and then we're going to be applying a top coat over the top of that which is a clear coat which makes it withstand the weather outside a lot better we're going to be applying two top coats and it is an interior next year product what do you got to say about this stuff john so modern masters they make lots of different decorative finishes and different independent retailers will carry them on and off uh, they have this is their metallic shimmer i believe is what it's called metallic paint collection in a satin and this color is antique bronze um there's uh, it's really high quality product i think one of the things when i first opened it up you know, do the same thing I always do. I'll open it up, I'll check kind of how thick it is, the viscosity between my fingers. There is a lot of pigment in this, especially for metallic paint. A lot of metallic paints we've used in the past, they're like water thin, right? Yes, they are. And this stuff, just from smeared around on your fingers, it's amazing. I mean, it has a really good consistency, nice smooth feel. And you know what? I think it can be used as makeup we too, could. couldn't it? Yes, we're gonna get Safety Sally out. We're gonna do a little, little eye shadow. I think that's eye shadow, maybe a little something going on. He's, he's gonna look like a Greek god. <laughs> Cause it goddess? looks like makeup. Goddess. Except it's goddess. awesome, so god, S goddess. Safety Sally, goddess. Goddess, we'll go there with we go. the whole goddess thing. Um, uh, we are <laughs> we are applying it with um, a sprayer. We are We're spraying it. So you can spray it, you can brush it, you can roll it. And we are going to be using an HVLP with a turbine, which the the product says not to use that. We're going to anyway because the the, the reason they're telling you not to is because it shears the sheen just a little bit. So your sheen's gonna cut back a little bit from what it was, but it's going to give us a better finish, in my opinion, maybe not theirs, but my opinion, and it's going to be easier to touch up because this is the kind of product where if you brush it one way and then brush it coming back the other way, you're laying those flex out differently and it looks completely different. So this is gonna let us get all those cracks and not have some of those same issues. And that sheer and the sheen issue, it, it could be an issue if you're not top coating it. We are gonna be top coating it with a clear coat, two top coats. So the sheen that our product is gonna end up taking on is gonna be the sheen of the clear coat. So mm -hmm. it's gonna look really cool. So we're doing, we got this door, we got an iron gate, got some other decorative things we're doing here with this metallic finish. Pretty cool. So anything else about this product um, that anybody needs to know? We um, are reducing it to send it through an HVLP, so we're going to reduce it about 15%. You yep. can reduce with either water or extender, um, but that's going to help it flow through that HVLP. And then on the HVLP, we're actually going to, this is going to be a lot more like airbrushing rather than like if we're doing cabinets where we've got a big fan and we're putting that product on. It's going to be more of a light coat and we're going to try to feather everything in together just because of the way the product is. Yeah, this door is going to look absolutely amazing when we're done. So we're going to get started um, spraying this stuff. The product, the, the tools that we're using here, they can be found in the description of the video right below if you want to purchase a sprayer, the product itself. I don't know, we're going to see if we can find it and put it in the video description also below. I'm not sure if we'll be able to find it or not. but. All the tools and accessories you're seeing here that are typically found down there in our video description or on our website, theidolopainter.com. But here we go, let's tackle this project right now. Huh? So we're working on the doors here, the previous painters got a um, sprayed it on pretty bad got a really eggshelly finish we are using our festool sander to attempt to get rid of it and we're it's coming off pretty good so what um size what grit paper are we using here gabriel 120 right now got a 120 grit sandpaper on here using the festool sander also when it comes to the product itself it is self priming don't need to use a primer but after we're done sanding we're just going to wipe and clean the door down really well 
and begin spraying. So there you have it. Our door is done and it looks, I, I think it looks really, really cool. So we went through the process of spraying our metallic finish on there and then we didn't show you the clear coat because we forgot. Well, yeah. We there was a technical difficulty. A technical difficulty. And then also the phone ringing. That would be paint wife. Um, so we use a clear coat. It's the in. There's a couple things you need to know. When you use this product, you have to use their clear coat, right, John? Well, that's what they tell you anyway. Yes. <laughs> and they make a pretty good argument for it. One, uh, it's a pretty, it's really thick, really, really thick uh, clear coat. And they say it's upwards of 3,000 scrub cycles that it's going to last. Uh, the other thing is they say this clear coat, unlike other clear coats, isn't going to dull or take away the shimmer. Guess, the shimmer in this metallic kind of finish. Yep. So we really like it. This front, or this front door, you saw it before. It was black. Now take a look at it. I think it just absolutely looks amazing. Inside, we even did um, some metallic finishes on their fireplaces, which you can check that video out also. And we did a different process because it has to be a heat resistant paint. So yes. yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully got some tips and tricks on using metallic finishes. You saw the process that we went through. We used a um, HVLP sprayer. Mm -hmm. It was a Titan cap spray. What tip size did we use, John? It was a uh, number five that we were using and you just gotta kind of play around with how much you're gonna thin it and where you want your pressure at depending on what you're painting. We kind of opened it up a little bit more on these bigger surfaces and then closed it down tighter on these smaller ones because we didn't want to be taking years and years and then you just get more chance for lap marks and missed spots, things like that. So mess around with your settings and, and it worked really well. Uh, what's the cure time on the product? Uh, cure time is a good question. I know it's gonna be dry to the touch in about 30 minutes. Recoat time is gonna be about two hours, give or take. Uh, usually a cure time, obviously depending on your humidity, things like that, you need a couple of days for the majority of that to occur. Yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna tell the customer, be very, very careful with this door for 30 days, just to be safe. And you know, people grabbing the door handle with rings on their fingers and stuff like that. I mean, I like to just tell people, just like our interior cabinets, just be very careful with them for 30 days. Just give that paint uh, time to cure, time to bond, and and be more scratch resistant. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If yeah, please consider giving us a thumbs up. Please consider liking our videos and down in the video description what can you find in the video description john you're going to find all the tools we use plus some links to these great products uh what is this metallic paint collection from modern masters and master clear from modern masters modern masters sun valley california mm -hmm. and you can go check us out on our website theidahopainter.com get more tips and tricks check us out on instagram and facebook and how can they find us on facebook john on facebook we are the idaho painter and we're idaho painter on instagram and just like lucas appreciates. We'll see you on our next video. Ow. <laughs> <laughs>